In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add explosions in your toy photography with Photoshop. Welcome back to another toy photography tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to create explosions in Photoshop and add them into your toy photography. It's really simple um, and easy. Most of the stuff um, that I use it with, I use stock images online. You can use Unsplash, uh, Pexels. Um, if you have an Adobe um, stock account, you can use photos from there. Um, those are great options. And then we, what we do is in Photoshop, we go ahead and blend them in to our image and um, help us create a realistic looking image with those uh, photos. And today I'm going to show you guys how to do that because uh, I live in an area where I can't use uh, fireworks um, all the time so um, I have to supplement my photos sometimes with uh, Photoshop um, to create if I want like explosions um, in the photos I have to use Photoshop for that so um, we're going to go ahead and dive right into Photoshop. Um, just one quick disclosure is I meant to do this live as I was editing it, but as I was recording and I was uh, as I was editing, um, I, the screen recorder can only go five minutes, I guess, um, at least the screen recorder that I'm using. So I didn't know that as I was editing because um, it was minimized. And so when I got done, it... Um, only had five minutes of footage but I had all the video there so I already went ahead and edited the whole image but I turned off all the layers and we're just gonna go ahead and explain the layers um, you know just in general uh, relatively quickly but um, the information will still be there and it'll be great and it'll be um, easy um, easy to follow um, and yeah so Let's get into it. Uh, let me turn on the re screen record here. Let's see, bam, go right here. And if any of you guys want to have more in depth tutorials on how I do um, other effects in here, because I'm not just doing explosions, I also do other stuff. Um, in terms of like I make a laser coming out of his blaster pistol, um, lens flares, uh, you know, getting rid of the stands and things like that. I can go ahead and show that because as you can see, I already kind of did a preliminary editing right here. I don't weather my figures. I like to do that in Photoshop uh, just because I can create a different type of weathering every time. So I'll go ahead and turn on that layer right now. There we go. As you can see, it weathered him up a little bit as you can see, I can I just pull off textures again, uh, just stock photography websites like Pexel and Unsplash, and create masks on those right there. And this is the laser I'm talking about. I just add a lens flare here, and then I do an outer glow with a soft brush right here. Boom, kind of creates like he's shooting his gun. Adds a little bit more things. So the stuff on the left right here is I used these stock images right here. And I use them mostly. All of these layers are going to be in screen blending mode. Um, it helps just match what you're putting in um, to the image. It matches it with the background image. So, but just a quick tip on that is if you do that route, um, you want to try to find stuff with black backgrounds um, just because it blends a little bit easier for you. So, we'll go ahead and do fire left right here. And you see, I added some smoke right here. And uh, let me see if I can turn on. Oh, that's the final image. Oh, spoiler alert! Um, you change your screen blending right here. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on, and so you can see you can change it to screen, linear, dodge, things like that. I'll go ahead and turn that off right now. So as I can see, so I changed that to screen blending, which is current, which is can be found right here. Also added some debris. And with these two layers, I went ahead and gave them a Gaussian blur effect. 
um, which helps blur them out a little bit. And you can find that right here under filter, blur, and I'll have a drop down menu um, for Gaussian blur. And then you can just adjust the pixels based on what you want. So then from here, I added some embers right there. <coughs> and then to match the lighting, I went ahead and added these hue and saturation color balance. Bam. Kind of match the lighting with what's going on right here. Um, that way it didn't just look like like this right here um, to help make it look a little bit more realistic. And then I made Commander Wolf his own layer. Um, so I can put stuff behind, as you can see. I added some more debris right here. And I dropped in a lens flare to these fires as well as I used this flames right here for that right side. Okay, and then from there I added some more debris right here and I ended up, that was my final image. And then from there I just went and added, I changed this into a smart object. So you can go ahead and convert that into a smart object right there. Convert to smart object. And then from here, you can go from filter, go into camera raw. And from here, you can go ahead and adjust all your colors right there um, and exposure and stuff like that. Um, again, I already went and did all that as I was recording. And I was only able to record for five minutes as far as my screen recording. So I have to figure that out on the next one. But as you can see, and to get this final um, image, you just to compile all your layers to get this final one so you can use camera raw, it's just control alt shift E, and then that'll compile all the layers together right there for you. Um, so that's really it. That's all I do um, is I just, uh, you know, you just to add explosions and things like that. You just go ahead and find some stock photos um, on stock websites and you can just drop them in as layers and then using like linear dodge or screen, lighten, you know, uh, normal, things like that. Um, that can just add, you know, some more depth to your images. Um, and it gives you more opportunity um, for storytelling as well. So that's it on how I add my um, explosions to that, um, to my toy photography photos. If you guys want me to do any more in-depth stuff, uh, I'm gonna try, you know, I'm gonna use this week to fix out the screen recording issues so I can actually do new it in real time. Um, you know, if you need me to, you know, if you want to figure out how to get rid of um, the, the, the wires in your photo, if you want to add the lasers, um, lens flares, um, things like that, because you could do more of that in Photoshop. Not all of this <clears throat> has to be done with, uh, like, uh, stock photos. You could use various brushes and stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just turn on the screen record again real quick I'm gonna turn it back on real quick oh. okay well yeah, my screen recording thing is being weird. So, but you could you, you could you, you can get various brushes and things like that, and use those um, to create uh, more custom stuff. Um, you know, if you can't find a stock image that you're looking for, to get that look that you're looking for. So, but that's it for this toy photography tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe for more toy photography. Uh, videos and 
Um, again, if you guys want to, if you want me to do any more things in depth, go ahead and leave, in, um, leave it in the comment section below. Uh, also, um, if you guys want to check out some more of my work, um, as well as any of my blog posts, you can go ahead. There's a link down in the description to my website, as well as my Instagram and my Vero account as well. Oh, not my Vero account, but um, my Twitter and other social media. And yeah, so go ahead and uh, keep uh, keep taking photos. Thanks for watching. This is Brent England with Brent England Photography. And I'll see you guys on the next one.